and here under the deep links here you can see we have got our deep links activated and here you can see no issues found and also the domain ownership is being verified so now let's try to see how this domain ownership is verified and how you can verify on your side as well so i assume that you are having a google play store account and it is a must for this particular process to be completed and now let's try to tap on this particular url and here you can see we have got redirected to our application in this vlog we'll try to see the process of auto verifying our deep link which we have specified in our previous tutorials so if you have gone through our previous tutorials there we try to manually verify our deep link and try to redirect to our flutter application but now in this vlog i will clearly show you how to auto verify so you need not go to the settings page and then manually add your website link over there so here whenever you install your application it will automatically get verified so you can just start using the app links and directly navigate to particular pages in your mobile application so this is the most interesting tutorial and i suggest you to watch this tutorial till the end and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below just like you have made in our previous tutorials and i will try to explain you in detail again so let's get started quickly with this particular tutorial here in this part of the tutorial i am not going to explain the step by step of uploading your flutter application to play store because that is again completely a different topic and if you are not aware of the upload process of your flutter application to play store just let me know in the comment section below i will do a dedicated video for the process of uploading the application to play store because it will be again like a lengthy process and i don't want to club that lengthy process into this particular auto verification part because you might get quite confused so here i will just try to show you my screen over here and here again this is the asset link.json file and i will show you what is the use of the asset link.json file and i have uploaded my application here onto the play store but it's in internal testing so here you can see i have uploaded my application to the internal testing because my application don't have any real time services or activities that needs to be performed so i have just uploaded it to the internal link and it's unreviewed but here you can get the good functionality of a deep links so whenever you try to download this particular file onto your device then it will work as it should work okay and here under the deep links here you can see we have got our deep links activated and here you can see no issues found and also the domain ownership is being verified so now let's try to see how this domain ownership is verified and how you can verify on your side as well so i assume that you are having a google play store account and it is a must for this particular process to be completed so whenever you are trying to upload your applications to the play store you need to do a small process like creating an asset link.json file here so if you are having any queries here in the android studio just go to app links assistant here and here you do have like associate website so just specify your details over here for the associate website and if you are getting any queries if you are getting any errors here so here i will just like to specify my package name and now try to generate digital asset link so here i am getting an error so sha256 fingerprint of the key store so error occurred while trying to get the sha256 fingerprint of the key store if you are also facing this particular issue i suggest you to quickly try the online way of creating this particular asset.json file here and also there is one more way i will show you it later in this part of the tutorial itself so here so let's try to create this so let's try to create this asset link.json file online here and for which you can just quickly go to google here and create asset links.json 
so when you try to search this the very first link what you will be getting is the link which you need to go through and here so this is the example it is showing so it's a quick example like this is how our asset link.json file will look like and you can just create one here learn about creating a statement and here these are all the steps which we have performed in our previous tutorials so you can just refer them and here you have like statement list generator and tester you need not search uh, like manually like how we did now so i will be directly providing you this particular link in the description section below just try to go through it and here you need to specify your site domain and previously what we did in android studio is the same one here so we have specified our site domain here and later you need to specify your package name and once you have specified your site domain and package name over here you need to get your sha256 fingerprint and if you are facing any issues just let me know in the comment section below so now how you will get this particular sha256 fingerprint so it's very simple again here so just go back to our android studio and right click on android folder here so here you will be having android folder right click on it and try to open it in terminal here and now I'm I'm making use of a MacBook, so this is the command like Gradle W, and also specify dot and forward slash here signing report. So this is the command you need to execute, and there you'll be getting your SHA-256 algorithm. So if you are having any queries in this particular implementation, just let me know in the comment section below. I will surely try to help you. So here. Our command is now successfully executed and we have got our SHA-256 algorithm as well. Try to paste the algorithm over here and tap on generate statement. So you will be getting a file which will uh, similarly look in this particular way. So you will be having like a relation, target, namespace, android app, package name, all these things like your package name over here. Just verify and your SHA fingerprints over here. And so if you are confused of this particular topic over here so if you are confused of creating this particular file you also have an another option here you can just go to the play store after uploading your application so after uploading your application here you will be having this particular page like okay for now we have got like domain ownership verified because we have successfully verified by completing the previous process and here when you tap over here you, you can see like a link is working but if there is any issue then it will clearly show you so now we have got like no issues found on our play store but if you are but if you have not followed the previous tutorial and created the test file then here you will be seeing an issue found and when you tap on this particular arrow button it will clearly show you the asset link.json file over here and you can just copy it and paste it onto your server so inside the server so this is my website and dot well known here this is a folder inside which you need to create asset links dot json and this file will similarly look like this over here and here this is the application link here we have got like download it on google play so when you tap on this particular link and also make sure when the application is in internal testing so you need to make use of this particular link itself to install the application because it's not visible to the all the users because our application is unreviewed and now let's try to open this particular application and for those who are not uh, having the knowledge of app links and how we verify it i suggest you to watch the previous tutorials there i try to manually turn on the associated website so here inside the apps here let's go to open by default and here you can see one verified link so by default we have just installed our application from play store and it is showing like one verified link and what is a verified link is amplifyabi.com so our website is verified and now what we'll do quickly is like open the messages application here so here let's try to create a start chat here so let's try to create a message here and the message i'm going to specify is like https and i'm going to specify the website name here amplifyabi.com slash profile slash 123 and again what is slash profile slash 123 here is like 
we have specified here right so profile slash id so yes that is what and now let's try to tap on this particular url and here you can see we have got redirected to our application so i think this is a very clear tutorial for you and i hope you understood this particular tutorial and if not just try to re-watch the tutorial from beginning and also try to watch the previous tutorials you will be getting a very good knowledge on how to auto verify your deep links in your real time flutter applications and also the code for this particular tutorial i am providing in the description section below if you like this tutorial just let me know in the comment section below so this is it for this particular tutorial hope you like this particular tutorial and do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter